After the horrific events in my grandfather's room, something strange began to happen. The door, which was religiously locked and shut. I believe my grandmother and I secretly blamed each other, even though it made no sense because we were both terrified of that room. But no matter how many times we shut and locked that door, it would open on its own. It got so bad that as we passed through the hallway on our way to the kitchen, we would look and the door was shut and locked. But by the time we returned to the hallway to go back to the living room, it was wide open. Each time it happened, I would stand there frozen in fear, staring into the darkness that seemed never ending. I couldn't see anything, but I knew it was there. I was entranced once again, but this time I was consumed and crippled by fear. I knew what lied within that darkness was pure evil. Anytime I felt like I was brave enough to shut the door on my own, I felt at any moment something was going to reach out and grab me and pull me into this never-ending abyss of darkness. So I would always do the same thing. Run. I would run a few feet into the living room and tell my grandmother, it's open again. Her reaction was the same. Fear consumed her face. Worry possessed her eyes. She would grab the keys and I would follow her. She made me follow her and stand right beside her. She would reach for the door and pull it shut as fast as she could, not wanting just to turn the lock from the inside and lock it. She felt safer once the door was shut and she used the key to lock it from the outside. In the beginning of the haunting, one flaw we had was we thought this evil force, whatever it was, was confined to my grandfather's room. So as long as we kept the door shut and locked, we were safe in the rest of the house. We were wrong. 